All right, thanks, guys. I am live here at Goodwill. We were just taking a look at the back uh, programming room and everything. Distribution center, I guess you could say. But we're out here on the floor now. We've got all sorts of things out here. Designer handbags, T-shirts, furniture. I mean, they've got it all here. Cecilia, how does it come from the donation center when people drop off their donations out here to the floor where people can buy them? Uh it starts in the production area, it's sorted, and then it goes to each department where it's priced. And uh, we have Kathy Zeeland that we priced wow. for $15, and we have uh, Louis Patton, which is 50 So, And these are real designer yes. handbags. I had no idea Goodwill had these types of things. Yes, we do. Wow, Just so fortunate that people have donated these. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Now, Mitch, you are the vice president of Goodwill right. down here in the right. southwest Georgia area, yes. and you're constantly getting new clothes in. It's right. never the same clothes. You don't right. keep them here very long. Right. How do you know which ones have been here for about however, however long you keep them we, out We here? do a rotation. It goes very quickly. Usually when the donations come out, we have people waiting. Sometimes we have shoppers come in two, three times a day to see what we put out throughout the day, which is awesome. About how many clothes do you go through uh, in a day, I guess? Um, this sales floor is about 10,000 square feet, and it can it can hold about 9,000 uh, pieces of clothes. Goodness. Yes. And you've got them all color-coded. We can pull up one of these shirts here, right. um, and it's, right. again, it's all very rainbow, <laughs> looking great, but it's all got a color code on the tag. Yes. That's part of the rotation. Um, right now, we're in a 50% off week for yellow tag. Wow. So one of these shirts that you pick out, if it has a little yellow barbell, it would be 50% off. Wow. And that and 50% off. These shirts all have a dollar ninety nine. So this right. T-shirt would be well. This one has a green right. on it. But when it is the green tag, it's a dollar. Right. Right. It is amazing. I want to make sure that everybody understands our mission and what your purchases do and what your donations do. If you donate three shirts and two pair of jeans, it will help give our career center the opportunity to give one hour of free career services. And we're going to be talking about that career center in just a few minutes. But how does that work? How does me donating one of my old T-shirts, a couple of my old T-shirts, right. and, and a couple of pairs of pants, how does that, I guess, transition into right. hours at the career we're, center? We're self-sustaining, so your donations actually give us the revenue to build our career centers. So we depend on your donations. And usually in a month, we need about 6,200, 6,500 donations. I, it seems like you have tons of clothes here. Kind of make it every month, or are there a few months that maybe no, you need a couple more donations? Albany is fantastic with donations. We appreciate it so much. The Albany community really supports us. Awesome. But it's not just clothes you have. Again, handbags. I saw a couple couches back there. Yes. Is there anything you don't accept? There are. We're, there's a few things that we don't uh, accept. Um, mattresses, anything that has any kind of chemicals in it, okay. um, heavy appliances. We don't accept those things. Most things that we do. Wonderful. And what happens if you don't sell the clothes? Say they go through that month-long rotation. What happens then? Um, like Mitch said, on the fourth week, if they have not sold, then we pull them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they go to recycling. Wonderful. So yes. No waste. It's all getting reused. Yes. I absolutely love it. What are your hours if people want to come on down? I mean, we're here at, what, 6 o'clock in the morning. But uh, right. I don't think we want people to come shopping this early. We're open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 8 and on Sunday from 9 to 6. Awesome. But uh, this is kind of the time that these folks are getting here to start working. Yes. We usually get here around 6.30, 7 o'clock awesome. every well, morning. Appreciate you guys waking up early and giving us a little tour here. Kelly, back to you. We are actually in the Career Center Services, uh, I guess, department area of here at Goodwill. We were da back in the back room learning how they get the donations here, how they sort them all out, out on the floor where you can come buy those clothes and all the other household items. But now we're right here is kind of what's the good of the Goodwill, giving people jobs, helping give back to this community. So, Brittany, what exactly do you do here in the Career Services Center? Well, actually, and we help individuals find jobs here, mm -hmm. and they... Basically, what I, what I work in, I'm sorry, is workforce development and training. Okay. Um, Crystal Eskew is actually the career center manager, but in workforce development and training, we provide hands-on services or employment skills to individuals who have disabilities Wonderful. through education and training. So in order to get those jobs, you need to have the skills, yes. and that's what you teach them. What are some of those skills, and how are ways that you teach them them? 
Well, we provide one-on-one -on -one job coaching. Once they come into the program, we actually um, have a job coach here, and we come in and we work with them one-on-one -on, -one on the, the skills and the processes in the back in the warehouse. We also do cl clerical training up here in the career center. Where we have individuals doing our callbacks, calling in, checking on our um, clients that come in day-to-day -to, -day to see if they have found employment. Um, retail skills, um, we work with Miss Ann out on the sales floor, and then we also provide custodial skills to them as well. Ow. A whole lot of skills there. And, uh, Crystal, you were mentioning, or excuse me, Brittany was mentioning that you kind of head the whole department. So, I mean, how do people get connected with you to get some of these skills and some of these jobs? They come in. That's, we just, we're open to anybody in the community. So we welcome anybody that walks in off the street. And Teresa, you are one of those people. You are here. You are the uh, the blood and butter of this operation. You were went through it, and now you are here. Tell us your story. Well, I come in a couple of years ago. I had looked for work uh, for about a year. I couldn't find work. I had been out of the workforce since 1999, and I didn't have the skills that I needed to get back into the workforce. So, uh, and I was referred to here. And it was just nothing but just good when I came here. Uh, they good helped me. Good goodwill. <laughs> yes, good, good. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, no, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> so what do you do now? You work here at Goodwill. Yes, I work here at Goodwill. I'm a processor, and uh, I check things for quality and do pricing and stock the floor. And uh, when I'm doing that, I'm uh, thinking about the next person out there that may, could get the opportunity that I had because every piece that I price is helping someone to come through the career center doors to have the opportunity that I have. Wonderful. And for so. people out there who might be in your similar situation a few years ago that might be a little nervous, it can be an intimidating uh, step to take into these doors, what would you say to them? Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, Goodwill is here. We have a career center. The staff is outstanding. And uh, they'll follow you through. Uh, I did end up getting job placement with Goodwill and the retail department. And uh, I didn't even know what my career was going to be <laughs> until I got here. Now I know where I want to stay. So it's here. It, there's help here. Just got to come through those doors. Well, congratulations to you, Teresa. And now, Crystal, again, you've got all sorts of computers here. It looks like a, almost a job board back here, the work connections. Uh, what all do you have out here for opportunities for people? We do. That is a job board. that We update that board every day. Um, it's opportunities that are available within Goodwill is our board on the far side. And then right here is opportunities that are available anywhere in Albany. So. Lots of good that they're doing here at Goodwill. We've learned all about it, kind of the behind-the-scenes process. But come on down, help them out, and hopefully you can get some help from them as well. Live here at Goodwill, back to you in the studio.